ruminant digestion ruminants means they are cud chewing herbivorous mammals you might be familiar with herbivorous mammals like cows uh, camel sheep goat deer antelope giraffe etc they have specialized chambered or compound stomach this is modified for rumination and cell loss digestion now a uh, ruminant stomach has four uh, chambers they are rumen which is also called paunch reticulum which is also called honeycomb then omasum is also called a saltarium or mini pleis and uh, ebomasum is called as reed or true stomach in some ruminants like camel and deers this uh, omasum is absent so in ruminant digestion they are cut chewing herbivores they are uh, they, this is a special adaptation for cellulose digestion there is four chambers in a ruminant stomach rumen reticulum omasum ebomasum now let us see each in detail this is the uh, cattle digestive system that is there is a esophagus which opens into the rumen uh, then from the rumen the food will pass to the reticulum omasum ebomasum where the actual digestion takes place then it is passed on to the small intestine so let us look at how the food which is taken in through the mouth reaches the four chambers before that a detailed explanation about each chamber rumen it's the first largest chamber and it harbors the symbiotic bacteria yeast ciliate protozoans which help in cellulose digestion these cellulolytic bacteria are anaerobes rumen serves as a fermentation center so this is its a center for cellulose digestion and also it's a storage chamber next largest chamber is actually ebomasum ebomasum is the second largest chamber it functions as a true stomach because it secretes the digestive juices for digestion while the other chambers do not have digestive enzymes then rest of the other chambers are called reticulum and omasum reticulum is a, a region where it holds very sharp objects like metals rocks it traps a large feed particles which are not uh, so the reticulum ah uh, but the metal pieces or rocks it can trap large feed particles that are not small enough to be digested it facilitates the regurgitation and contains uh, some digestive bacteria and uh, omasum is like a uh, it has many fold and these folds help in absorption of water and sometimes it also helps in uh, absorption of some salts now while feeding uh, the cattle might feed on certain uh, metallic pieces or something so in order to prevent that you can uh, attach a magnet in the feeder so that it will attract the metal pieces so that it will not be ingested by the cattle so that uh, that is how we can prevent such metal pieces and rocks uh, from uh, that is metal pieces from entering into the intestine of the cattle next is the uh, rumination rumination or cut chewing it's a special adaptation for cellulose uh, digestion here what happens is that uh, the animal will uh, swallow fresh food and without chewing it or masticating it this di uh, partly digested food will reach the rumen again okay, it will remain there for some time and heavy fermentation will be followed by the enzyme secreted by the symbiotic bacteria and protozoans it will break down the cellulose the fermentation products 
it will include certain acids like acetic acid lactic acid butyric acid and this will be absorbed directly and utilized by the animal for energy most of the carbon dioxide and uh, methane that is formed during fermentation will escape by bleaching or eructation through the mouth so um, that is how uh, the first uh, process in rumination begins and continued uh, continuation of the fermentation causes accumulation of the organic acids in the stomach this will alter the ph and fluid content of the stomach and to affect the activities of the bacteria so in order to uh, avoid such a situation the animal will secrete lots of um, uh, that is uh, um, uh, enormous amounts of uh, bicarbonate rich saliva which will serve as a buffering system okay and this uh, rapid absorption of fatty acids will will prevent their excessive accumulation the saliva of ruminants a little more is a little more than alkaline than uh, and it serves as a buffer and also as a fermentation medium for microorganism now uh, so once again i'll repeat uh, rumination is a process of cellulose digestion uh, freshly uh that is fresh food when it passes into the mouth it will not be chewed it will be swallowed and it will enter the rumen in the rumen the fermentation begins it's a very large chamber it, will, it is enclosing the symbiotic bacteria so there will be fermentation uh it will start fermenting the uh, food Uh, with the help of the enzyme uh, that is enzymes produced by the bacteria and in this process there will be a lot of acids formed which will be utilized by the uh, cow or the sheep or the cattle uh, for its energy metabol that is metabolism or for the so as a source of energy the carbon dioxide and uh, methane will be released through their mouth as bleaching okay so this is how uh, the fermentation starts now as the fermentation proceeds there'll be you can uh, imagine that what happens in fermentation more there will be more accumulation of organic acids right and when organic acids accumulate in the stomach its ph and fluid content will vary right so in order to that ph content if it varies it will be harmful for the symbiotic bacteria so in order to avoid that the organism or the animal will uh, produce a lot of saliva which is bicarbonate rich so bicarbonate and acid so that will help in maintaining a particular ph that will be suitable for the uh, symbiotic bacteria so this will this saliva which contains uh, dilute solution of sodium bicarbonate will help as a buffer and that will help as a medium for the microorganisms now what happens is that in the rumen you have the partly digested food now it should move to next chamber that is reticulum in reticulum they will get rolled as a as balls that balls are called as cud later on when the animal is resting this animal will regurgitate the cud and till again masticate it or chew it then swallow it this process is called as rumination okay so in a hurry the first the cattle just swallows the fresh grass okay and that grass or plants will enter into its rumen and the fermentation will begin and after the fermentation begins then the from the rumen that plant matter will enter into the reticulum there it will be rolled as small balls at rest when the animal takes rest this small balls or cud 
will be regurgitated from the reticulum to the mouth and it will be chewed. This process is called as rumination. This thoroughly masticated food re-enters the rumen. So once it is chewed, properly digested, it will be enter again into the rumen. Again it will undergo fermentation. Then it will pass into the other chambers. Which are the other chambers? The omasum and the abomasum. In omasum, the water and salts will get absorbed. The food will get concentrated and will enter into the abomasum. In abomasum, the true digestion occurs with the help of digestive enzymes because digestive enzymes are essential for gastric digestion. The symbiotic bacteria or microorganisms which inhabit the rumen of the cattle or sheep are obligate anaerobes. They can meet their energy requirement only with the help of fermentation. Fermentation yields only small amounts of energy for these organisms. But at the same time, the host animal gets plenty of fermentation products for their metabolism. Now coming to the significance of ruminant digestion. Ruminant digestion is nutritionally advantageous to the animal in several ways. Like the microbial fermentation in rumen enables cellulose digestion and provides the animal enough raw material for oxidative metabolism. Okay, so this uh, rumination is very helpful in cellulose digestion and will help in giving raw material for the metabolism. Second point is that the symbiotic uh, microorganism in the rumen will synthesize protein and essential amino acids from the inorganic nitrogen compounds such as ammonium salt and make them available to the host plant. So the host plant will get protein and essential amino acids from these microorganisms. This will be very advantageous because if the animal is feeding on very low grade feed, it is getting all the essential nutrients from this symbiotic bacteria. Ruminant mode of digestion enables the utilization of urea. In this case, urea produced in the metabolism reaches the rumen. It will get hydrolyzed to carbon dioxide and ammonia. This ammonia is utilized for the synthesis of protein. Okay. So, this helps in the proper utilization of urea to synthesize protein. Next is it synthesizes some B group vitamins, especially B12, and that will be supplied to the host animal. Further, rumination slows down the passage of food through the fermentation chamber and ensures the digestion of cellulose and enables a thorough mixing of food with enzyme. Now, adding a point here, digestive a fermentation is not exclusively restricted to ruminant mammals. A similar fermentation is present in non-ruminant mammals also. For example, gastric fermentation occurs in the cardiac stomach of the hippopotamus, in the elongated stomach of kangaroos. The cecal fermentation occurs in rabbits. Okay, as a process physiologically related to rumination is another uh, r type of uh, cellulo cellulose digestion adaptation is uh, coprophagy. You might be familiar with the term coprophagy or refection. This is called fecal feeding. That is coprophagy literally means cop uh, that is feeding on the fecus. So, uh, the rabbits and all they will ingest food they will undergo they will pass through all the uh, stomach intestine it will be passed out as uh, the partly digested food or it will be a very moist fecus that is that they pass out during the early morning this will be ingested again re-ingested and will again undergo elaborate gastric and intestinal digestion then it will be passed out as very dry fecus so the moist fecus that they first release in the morning will be ingested again by these rabbits and will be again undergoing uh, digestion. This type of cellulose digestion is called coprophagy which is very common in rabbits and it is also seen in some rodents.